Qatar temporarily suspends the visa visa during the FIFA World Cup starting November 1st. The Minister of Interior has decided to suspend entry of all visitors through air, land, marine borders to the state of Qatar that is starting from November uh, 1st, 2022. What does it mean? That only people with the higher card holders or people with the higher card will be allowed to come into the country. That is for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Remember, we are looking at the FIFA World Cup that is beginning on the 20th of November with the first match that will be played between Qatar, the host country, and Ecuador. That is going to be a first big game on the start of the World Cup. What does it mean? All visit visas to Qatar are temporarily will temporarily will be on hold starting on 1st November and they will resume on December 23rd 2022. That's when you shall have the visit visas into Qatar again being approved or issued by what we call the Minister of Interior and the Qatar Visa Center. What does it mean? This announcement has come at a time uh, when the, there is a regulation of entry and exit into Qatar during what you call the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, which is set to kick off November 20th, uh, 2022, starting 20 with the first match of Ecuador and Qatar. This has, what does it mean to you that if you do not have a hana card, you cannot come into the country. However, something that you should know with an higher card, there is there is a, a, a new a new a new process or a new uh, a new requirement that was put on the higher card for people who have a higher cards and you are a resident or you are a citizen in Qatar, you can invite one of your relatives who does not have an higher card from outside with what we call a one plus three rule that was introduced by the Supreme Committee for uh, FIFA Supreme Committee for, Liver, uh, for Delivery and Legacy. But however, there are some conditionalities that you're supposed to meet. One of the conditionalities is that you're supposed to have what you call an address, which must be registered uh, in the what you call the higher card portal, and you'll be given that permission in one or the other. Furthermore, the ministry, the ministry announced that the entry into Qatar will be only allowed by what you call those people that have what you call the higher card holders. And people with the higher card holders in Qatar, they will stay until January 23, that is 2023. Meaning that if you have an higher card, you are allowed to stay in Qatar from 1st December until 23rd of January 2023. Out of that time, that means your stay in Tukata will be expired and you will have to exit outside the country. Something that still you need to understand or something that you need to know, that much as this one has been put in place, there is what we call exemption and there is what we call categories that are out of this suspension of what you call the visa or what you call the visas. And what are these categories that we are supposed to know? That these people are not going to be affected in any way. One of the suspension uh, that we are talking about or people who are not included in what is being announced right now is if you are a Qatari citizen or if you are a resident in Qatar and you have what you call a valid Qatar ID or residence ID, you are free to exit and you are free to come into the country. However, provided you follow the procedure, especially you follow, you provide, you, you follow the COVID-19 procedure of entry and exit and registration on what you call the Qatar arrival website and also following what you call the airlines uh, regulations that are put in place at that time. Remember, we are looking at where some other airlines will be diverted uh, from Ahmad Airport to go and use what you call the Doha International Airport. 
remember? Something still you need to understand, or something that you need to understand, is that all GCC citizens holding a Qatari, holding a Qatari ID or holding a valid ID will also be allowed to exit and enter into the country without any hurdle or without being restricted. How? Still, something that you also need to understand that holders of personal recruitment visas and work entry permits will also be allowed to enter into the country and exit into the country without any any hurdle. And also, humanitarian cases through airport, based on what you call approvals from the official application platform, will also be allowed to move and enter into the country. I think those are the only groups that will be or will be exempted in one or, or the other. How, uh, however, something that you need to understand that procedures of entry and exit and the COVID regulations should also be followed in the right way. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It makes always that will always be giving you the updates. By the way, don't forget to support this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Hit that subscribe. Comment. Give a comment. Leave a comment. I'll always get back to you.